Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain magnetron oscillator with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you how many points that I'm going to cover in this video. First of all, I'll explain basics of magnetron oscillator. After that, I'll cover structure and working of magnetron oscillator. After that, I'll explain equivalent model of magnetron oscillator and at last, I'll discuss about applications of magnetron oscillator. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of magnetron oscillator. Magnetron oscillator is a microwave source. Using magnetron oscillator, one can generate microwave signal. If you observe the basic structure of magnetron oscillator, then in that we have cathode which is connected to filament where we will be connecting DC supply. Here we have anode and with anode we have anode cavities. From anode cavities by having waveguide or coaxial coupling we can take RF output. So magnetron oscillator that is a microwave tube which generates high frequency microwave oscillations. Here we have multiple cavities. You can observe we have multiple cavities over here. This device is available with 8 to 20 cavities. Magnetron oscillator functions based on fixed frequency structure. So based on structure, its frequency of oscillation is fixed. It is available with the frequency range of 0.6 gigahertz to 30 gigahertz. So you need to understand this. See magnetron oscillator that is having well-defined fixed frequency. And its frequency is based on its structure. Based on its structure, Available frequency range is available from 0.6 gigahertz to 30 gigahertz. Magnetron oscillator is widely used in many applications like one can use it in radar system, in microwave own also we are using it as well as in various communication devices we are using magnetron oscillator as a source. Now I'll explain basic structure of magnetron oscillator. Magnetron oscillator is multi cavity device and those cavities are there inside anode. If you observe the structure, then here we have anode and inside anode we have anode cavities. With this given magnetron oscillator, in total 12 cavities are there. Here at center we have cathode and this is top view of this magnetron oscillator. So at center we have cathode and this cathode is connected with filaments to supply cathode. Here we will be providing DC supply and from cavities we will be taking RF output. So here in structure with magnetron oscillator we can have multiple cavities. 8 to 20 cavities are available with different types of magnetron oscillator. And one essential point that you need to note down. Adjacent cavity is having 180 degree phase shift with each other. Means here we have cavities in sequence. So adjacent cavity that is having 180 degree phase shift with each other. Right. Filament is connected with cathode to generate electrons. So here we are providing filament. Here we will be connecting DC supply using which this cathode will be generating electrons. Strong magnet is placed which will be generating magnetic field. And one should know direction of magnetic field that is coming out of the screen. So here this is top view of magneton oscillator. With this top view there will be magnet that will be provided. And using that magnet we will be generating strong magnetic field. The magnetic field direction that will be perpendicular to this screen. right? And based on magnetic field electrons will be experiencing force on it. And because of force exerted by magnetic field, electrons will be following curved path, right? To explain that, here let me note down few points. See here output coupling that we do it to have output signal and that output coupling that could be done using coaxial loop and it could be done using waveguide as well. So here one can use waveguide or coaxial coupling to get output. Here electron motion that will happen from cathode to anode. 
if you don't apply any magnetic field over here using strong magnet, then electrons will be following straight path from cathode to anode. You can observe that by this blue color. So here without magnetic field, electrons will go from cathode to anode directly and with magnetic field, it will be following curved path. By other colors, you can observe electrons are following curved path, right? So due to magnetic field, electrons will follow a curved path. So that is how basic structure is there. Now I'll explain working of magnetron oscillator. Working of magnetron oscillator is based on how electrons are flowing from cathode to anode. If you observe here we have cathode. This cathode is connected with filament by which we are applying supply. Using filament, this cathode will be generating electrons and those electrons will be moving towards anode. As and when those electrons are moving towards anode, here this anode cavities that will be oscillating because of electrons which are coming over here. Here by this dark color, one can observe motion of electrons and here by this blue color, one can observe direction of electric field. Direction of magnetic field that is perpendicular to the plane of this magnetron and that is provided by strong magnet. Here, if you observe the direction of electric field, so that is changing with respect to time and based on that, there is a generation of oscillation and that oscillation is carried out from this RF output, right? So working of magnetron oscillator that is based on electron emission. Here electron is getting emitted from cathode and it is moving towards anode. Here once electrons are moving towards anode, there will be formation of electric field in this cavities. And that electric field that is getting formed as per 180 degree phase shift in between adjacent cavities. So you can observe adjacent cavities, those are out of phase to each other. And based on that, there is a formation of electric field. By blue color, one can observe electric field direction that is changing periodically. So here magnetic field interaction that happens with electron those electrons are moving from cathode to anode, they are experiencing magnetic force. That magnetic force will be having value of charge into V cross B. And because of velocity and magnetic field, electrons are experiencing force and those electrons will be moving in a curved path, right? It will be following spiral circular path. Now let us discuss about resonant cavities. The resonant cavities, those are 180 degree out of phase with each other with adjacent anode cavity. So if you observe here, we have anode cavities. Those anode cavities are 180 degree out of phase with each other. And based on that, it is generating electric field. And electromagnetic oscillation is getting formed because of which there will be generation of microwave frequencies. And whatever microwave frequencies are generated, that we will be taking out from RF output. That RF output that could be connected with coaxial loop or waveguide. Coaxial loop can be considered as an antenna as well. So here we are deal with to take output which is oscillated over here inside anode cavity. So energy extraction that we do with the use of waveguide or antenna to produce microwave signal at the output over here, right? So that is how basic working is there with magnetron oscillator. Now I'll explain equivalent circuit of magnetron oscillator. The individual cavity that is acting like a tank circuit. So if you observe here, we have cavity where in between these two plate, there is a formation of capacitor. And because of magnetic field, which we are inserting using strong magnet, this cavity is having its own inductance. So parallel capacitor and inductive network that is getting formed because of which there will be LC oscillation as per E field and H field. If you want to understand the direction of 
magnetic field and electric field then that one can observe by inductor and capacitor over here which is connected in parallel that is what the equivalent model which will be there with individual cavities right so here individual cavity that is having equivalent model of lc parallel combination which is tank circuit based on that there will be oscillation of signal at frequency that is 1 by 2 pi square root of lc now i'll discuss about applications of magnetron oscillator the magnetron oscillator that is providing microwave source it is used in microwave ohms in microwave ohms at 2.4 gigahertz of frequency we generate microwave signals using which we can produce heat to cook the food right it is also used in radar system in many military and civilian radar for detection of object and detection of distance we use magnetron oscillator as a source it is also used in many communication system in order to have long distance communication we need high power source and that could be achieved using magnetron oscillator it is also used in industrial heating in some applications where we need to have heating without any contact we can use magnetron oscillator right like in some applications we may need drying and melting material without any contact in that situation one can use magnetron oscillator as a source so that is how magnetron oscillator is used in many applications i hope you have enjoyed this session and still if anything that you like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video